class diagrams are often created with the intention of implementing the model elements in an object-oriented programming language. Their translation is often semi-automatic and requires only minimal manual intervention. The class course is translated into class, course, followed by curved brackets around the body of the class. The body contains the code that is provided for the life cycle of the objects created from the class. In this example, the class course has a public attribute course number of type integer. In Java, a semicolon is needed afterwards. When you have an abstract class, the abstract identifier is written before the work class. As you remember, the class cannot be instantiated, but it can be subclassed. You can see that the student and employee are subclasses of the abstract university member. The enumeration is written in a similar way as in the class diagram. The first word is enumeration followed by the name. Then we have curved brackets around the possibilities. In our example, enumeration called e-semester with the possibilities winter and summer and an enumeration e-roll with the possibilities lecturer, tutor or examiner. Now we translate the class student. As you see, it is a subclass of university member. This is translated into extends and then the name of the superclass after the name of the subclass. Class student extends university member. Then it has an association to another class. Close to the head of the arrow through this class course execution, there is a multiplicity star. The translation is public. Then the class name course execution is typed with multiplicity star, which is translated in brackets, and then the role name. The role name is not given in this example, but you need one in Java, so we take completed courses as name. Let's have a look what happens if there is an operation declared in a class of the class diagram. The visibility plus is again translated into public, followed by the return type int, the operation name get account number and swung dashes. In case the swung dashes are filled in a class diagram, you have to fill them correctly in Java 2. In the class diagram, we have modeled the return type as int. Due to the operation name get account number, we specify the return with the value of the attribute account number. In the last example of code generation, we want to translate the class course execution. As we had before, the relationship from course execution to student with multiplicity star is translated into student, brackets and the name student. Each course execution has a relationship to exactly one course. In practice, you would give the attribute course number directly into the course execution in the class diagram. But the translation into Java is the same as with the one-to-one -one relationship. The association class support is translated into a hash, hash table support.